We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's the pivotal Game 5 of the World Series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Milwaukee Brewers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for Game 5. Well, they're down three games to one, so it's do-or-die time now. That's not a good place to be, obviously, but we do see some teams play their best when their backs are up against the ropes. The key is to just take it one game at a time and not worry about how many more wins you need. The build-up to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. The dude, Gerald, gets the ball with a world championship on the line. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, man, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Leading off tonight for the Angels, the second baseman, number 16. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch, seven oh seven. Oh, that's in. down here. The 1-1 home is swung on and missed for strike oh, number two. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late, and you can't even put a good swing on it. Ready to deliver the one and two. Weak on, grounder on, on. down the line at third. Knee high, he barehands oh. it. He is out. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to keep their playoff hopes alive. Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. So now to the plate, Darren Freiman. No balls and one strike. One out, nobody on. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit one, down one, the one. line at first. Scooped up and he'll take oh. it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third. The good stop. Casey. Off spin. Hey, come on, guys. Here's the pitch. Hey. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he's really no getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Interested to see what the pitcher goes to now. After getting that late hack on the curveball, does he speed him up with some velocity? Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw in time and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. Now it's the Brew Crew's turn in a scoreless ball game.
Second inning set to go. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Charlie Sanchez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And set up working the plate is Larry Bullard, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Hey, D. Rowe, Larry Bullard, he's pretty much right down the middle. You see very few managers and players getting into very many confrontations with Larry. Yeah, Larry lays in the weed stand, doesn't try and make it about him, and that's what the players love. He's got a pretty consistent strike zone, and he's approachable. Martin moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. The right fielder. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hey! Oh Very my. rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 0 1 on its way. Aye. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss he struck him out and it's two up two down to start the second and with two away now let's take another look at our playoff brackets and of course the question on everybody's mind will we crown a champion here tonight Late John Rodriguez, and he always poses a threat, of course, one of the true superstars in the game today. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, outside. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Coming to the plate now, the dude, Gerald, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Gerald. Now here's the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. He's got it. He had a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Leading off for the angel, the catcher, Ryan. 
Carrillo. And now pitch on the way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Weekly hit to third. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight. The first baseman. Romo. Hernandez. Plays it one here. The pitch. Aye. Hernandez is a highly regarded defender, especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit, but he takes a lot of pride in his defense, and as a result, it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. Here it comes on nothing and two. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a feel thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. Batting nine. At the, the pitch plate pitch. now, Edward, Edward. Batista. Batista. So he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order. They're down 1 0. Digging in for his second at bat, Peter Romero. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. First pitch coming, here it is. Ball one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Center fielder on the run, and the Halos have their first hit of the game. The first base, number at the plate, Darren Freiman. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hey, get his ground right here. There you go. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Popped him up. Edwards ranging into the outfield my, my, and he tracks it. it down. Nice play for the first out. And now for the Angels, Casey Austin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. He's running in there. Now the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly.
lifted the other way to left center. Ashley will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Angels held in check there. It remains 1-0. Digging in now, the dude, now Gerald. The pitcher, the dude, Gerald. Hey, get your pitch right here. Come on now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Solo shot to right center. His first homer here in the series as the Brewers have now taken a 4 to nothing lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey! 0 and 1. Hey, nobody away. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Martin is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. So striding in, Tom Chu, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Tough pitch to time there as he fights this one off foul off to the right. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Taken but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. No runs, hey, just one right hit, here. and no errors to this point for the Angels. One, one, one. Hit back toward the mound. Fielded cleanly, and there are oh. two away now. Now at the plate, John Rodriguez. First pitch on its John. way. Rodriguez. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, all right. Here we go now. Waved at and missed, and he's oh, behind 0-2. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here comes another 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Angels go down 1-2-3. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Coming to the plate now, Brian Carrillo. And here's an at-bat you don't want to miss. The pop is something to see, so we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. First pitch coming, here it is. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, nobody on. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. To two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. 
Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going hey, to lead to a lot away. of success on the mound. Into the box now, Ramon Hernandez, as he'll take a look at ball one. First time up, he went down looking. In there, and it's even at one. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. And he struck him out as well, so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Sean Cortez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Sean Cortez. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. And now pitch on the way. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Angels are gone in order. They're down 4 nothing. The pitcher, the dude, Gerald, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's down into left center for a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. Now, now with the play, fielder. Pedro Sanchez. Pedro. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Flares this one over toward first. Come on, get out, get out, second get out. for one, and it's wide of the bag and right by him. One run <laughs> scores. Throw won't get him. And now he'll at least get an out at third here as he's tagged out, but two runs are already in to score. Well, we all know. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Peter Romero. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Right side scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping in, Darren Fryman. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. And it's quickly 0 and 2. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. Now better. Stepping in now, Casey, Casey. Austin. Austin. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Oh, a little too anxious on the slow floater there. One and one. 
You know if a knuckleballer's in a game this late, he's got a good one working. He's been able to manipulate that thing all over. It's been dancing, occasionally mixing in a fastball. He's done a nice job. Two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They're down by a touchdown, seven nothing. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Charlie Sanchez. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And the pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Up next for the Angels. To the plate now, Tom Chu. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. One out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Now batter, the center fielder, John Rodriguez. Hey, two here. Into the box, John Rodriguez, as he'll cut on and miss it. A good slider at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now a flare out to left center, and that'll get down for a base hit. Yeah, Matt, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first, so as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Stepping up to the plate, the Brian Carrillo, Brian. 0 for 2 on his oh, line thus far. Eight. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing and one. Rodriguez is off of first with two away. Strike two, swinging just out two in strike. front of the slider. Oh, fellas, so far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed pitches. Up, Very up. little ball, trap. Ball. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. This one pretty well in the bag. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Brewers lead this one 7 to nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, the dude, Gerald. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder. Unbelievable. A home run. I don't believe what I just saw. I don't believe what I just saw. 
So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game as they widen this lead to eight now. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Into the box now, Ramon Hernandez. And obviously, they'll need a ninth inning rally here if this series is going to make it to a game six. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Brad Ruiz will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 17, Brad Ruiz. Hey, come on now. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing in one. The 0 1. Is strike two swinging. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Uh, he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. The second baseman Peter Romero. At the plate now, Peter Romero. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field, that's a base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Digging in once again, Darren Fryman. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Two out with a man at first. Boys. 
the 0-1. Yeah. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Struck him out, and it's over. They are World Series champions. Well, they just clinched the World Series title in front of the home crowd, and no doubt about it, this town is going to be rocking and tonight just like this stadium is rocking right now as they celebrate something they'll remember forever they are the world series champions back now on the show it's all over and you see the reactions there to the final out And down on the field, we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the Commissioner's Trophy to the new world champs.